crack with the Batman. Vintage Toy King, and I talk about it all the time, but I never actually show you guys the video. So we're gonna roll up in here once I puff on this smoke for a minute. And surprise, Toy King with a little Toy Bros visit. So like I said, I'm surprising Toy King. There he is, there's the man, the myth, the legend. Because I always come down here and I talk about this place on my channel, but I never actually show you guys anything. So I figured I'd throw you guys like the hunt video so much. I figured I'd throw that in, but I mean, he's got really cool stuff. Got the dollar bin. I like searching through that for fodder. Just all kinds of neat stuff. He's got predators, just all kinds of shit. So we're going to walk around the store for a minute and I'm going to see if I can't find anything cool. But he's got a good selection of DC, like definitely find some DC stuff here since our town doesn't have shit for DC because they hate him and uh, I picked up the Infinity War wave today I didn't get Captain America that's the only one so I think I'm just gonna stick the other Thanos head on and be like alright that's good enough <laughs> and he looks better that way anyway yeah he's definitely got some old classic Marvel figures in the early days of Toy Biz and then he's got a pretty good selection of packaged Marvel Legends so every once in a while I'll grab one of those up yeah, I saw my Toy Fights episode. I gotta get back on those. There's a thing to go with the Walgreens exclusive Mr. Fantastic. Just these old Spider-Man figures are pretty cool. You can get a lot of cool figures out of that way if they didn't make other ones. They got really good articulation too. figure. This time I'm holding the camera the right way so you don't get them stupid letter box. Walking Dead, Assassin's Creed, Old School Power Rangers. Jane Silent Bob almost died the other day. Did you see that? Or a freaking like massive heart attack. That would suck. Mo2. Those are hard to find. But you got good prices on too. Some people selling these for so much online. Big Godzilla. Old school. Spend hours in the store and, and Toy King will vouch for that. <laughs> How long you been here, Toy King? Almost four years now, right? Ooh. Three years and four months. Can't believe it's been that long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Toy Girl Matt found a Thunderbolt Punisher. Okay, we're getting that. <laughs> Just reactivated my bank card. I didn't realize all you had to do was call the number, put your pin number in, <laughs> so I don't have to talk to my nasty ass ex girlfriend. Got some cool Marvel figures. That Venom, there's a hot Venom there. I got them at home. I always rip their tongues out. Brave Star. Inhuman one is it actually? I could definitely destroy my tax return in here. Right now, I'm tight on the I bought four totes this morning, <laughs> filled them up already. I gotta move those over the storage unit. Lots of cool Batman figures, Marvel Selects, three scenes. One of these days, I'm gonna cook that Batman up, rub it in Toy Girl Ralph's face. Bitch. <laughs> Let me go. Get that G.I. Joe shit out. Like make this USS it's USS flag, right? I can make that my bed. <laughs> and he's got the classic figures, of course, and they're in really good shape. I don't know, those are 25th anniversary. Those are, no, those are 25th anniversary there. And then those are the classics. The Tiger Sharks, Iron Grenadiers. Yeah, no total Matt knew about all this stuff. Here. Tell 
Toy King. I used to have these when I was a kid, and my grandma's dog ate two arms off. And I, there's like a whole plethora of figures buried in the garden, the little grave from when I used to have funerals for them when the dogs ate them. That's a whole school of Star Wars, Shadows of Empire. They should have made that a movie. Tons of stuff, so we get the hook up over here. More so me than Toy Morale, he don't leave the house. That's why I really see me in videos <laughs> when I feel like going there. Here's a board. Old McFarland. Psycho. I have Max and all the work at. Yeah, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go through here and see what else I want to pick up tonight. And then I'll show you guys when we get all done. Yeah, it's scored some cool stuff. Got the Thunderbolt Punisher. I can't, I, I don't know what that's from. I just can't remember. It's, uh, I can't remember. I know where it's from, though. Um, found a Professor X or Hot Wheels in his invisible chair, so that'll make up for my messed up one. Some two little uh, Marvel Universe figures. Captain Rogers. Got this cool Spawn guy. A little Crack Monkey guy on his back. And a cool little Bruce Lee, so. Uh, we'll tally it all up and see how much it costs, but yeah, that's the Vintage Toy King. Hey, hi, Kelly. Hey, what's up? <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are ever in the old Cala, Florida area, be sure to check this store out. You'll definitely find something in here. I always do. But So, bros, I made it out of Vintage Toy King. I managed to snag up some cool figures. Got that Bruce Lee and Professor X, which he's not great at articulation, but he still looks pretty cool. And then there's the Thunderbolt Punisher and the weird McFarlane guy I got. It looks like a Hembred guy. Like one of the fucking two billies from Point Lookout on Fallout 3. If you remember that far back, that was a cool game. But I did get a little gem on my way out. I got me a Resident Evil Hunter. And he's pretty sick. I like the other one I got a little better. Because he looks kind of weird, but he's still pretty fucking sick. And the Toy King always hooks me up with deals because I'm a regular customer. So I hope you like my little mini hunt video. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys are awesome. You've been hooking us up this week, getting all kinds of new viewers. So, thanks, bros. Peace out.